So I take it you're here because you want to become a web developer and an engineer also. The world of web development and engineering is now sort of merging together. So before we had just developers doing one thing and engineers doing yet another things or managing the infrastructure and a whole different paradigm. Welcome to this course on DevOps Engineer. It's a complete course on web development as well as engineering and operations as well. So what do I mean by this? First, let me introduce you to myself. My name is Said. I'll be the instructor for this course. I've been in the training industry for a little over 20 years and I specialize in making complex material really easy to follow and understand. So let me tell you about this course now. This complete DevOps course contains over 150 lectures or 15 hours of instruction. So you're not gonna be able to finish this course in let's say a week. So I've given you at least six weeks or so for this entire course. I know school is starting, so this is the best time for you to get enrolled in this class. So what are you gonna learn in this entire course? I'm gonna walk you through the introduction to the basics of HTML and CSS, and then I'll jump into the Java programming. And we'll spend considerable amount of time doing exercises, practice tasks, a little bit of reading, and I'll demonstrate in hands-on tutorials so that you can become a web developer first using Java. After we successfully complete this aspect of the course, then we'll get into the scalable web applications. How to build them, how to use them, how do we manage them. And for that, we'll use the Google Cloud Platform as the infrastructure. We'll also use Docker technology to containerize our images, upload them to the Docker Hub and eventually to the Google Container Engine. And finally, the most important aspect is how do you manage that application? And we'll use Kubernetes. And I'll demonstrate hands-on, step-by-step. I'll walk you through this entire course how to actually go about and scale your web applications, create clusters, for example, configure virtual machines, configure the front end and the back end. So you'll not only just learn the development end of things, but also how do you actually go about and manage those applications and how to scale them as well. And that's ideal because two fields are now merging, right? So if you're a developer, that's great because now you can manage the infrastructure as well. Well, if you are an infrastructure manager or network administrator, for example, then you need to know some web development as well. One of the fascinating aspects of this course is that we'll walk through two projects that I'm gonna show you how to develop a complete app, how to scale that application, how to use Docker and Docker Hub, but more importantly, once we host this application on the Google Cloud platform, you'll actually get to see the power of building and managing scalable apps. So in our first project, I'm gonna demonstrate how to create a WordPress website using this platform. Google Cloud platform, using containers, creating pods, clusters, and setting up virtual machines. So that's our first project, we'll create a live website with a backend as well as a frontend, running all on clustered environment. The second project is a little bit more in depth. We are going to create using PHP as a frontend. You can always use Java as a frontend as well or JavaScript. And at the backend, we'll again use the clustered nodes which are going to replicate or configure replication controllers. So this project contains setting up a guestbook where, for example, you would enter a certain piece of information and you will click the submit button and the data will be captured in the backend database and then the front end would be the PHP format. So I'll walk you through these two super projects. We'll give you hands-on experience in becoming a complete DevOps engineer. So I'll give you the best of both worlds in this course and along with myself and my team, Claydesk, I'm super excited 
to teach you this course and walk you through step by step so that you can become a complete DevOps engineer. So why should you take this course? Like I said, it's a complete course. So it's not something that you just learn in a few hours and I show you some tips and techniques. This is in fact your own semester worth of class. So you'll walk you through step by step learning the entire technology from scratch. Who is this course for? I've designed this course for all level of students. So if you're a beginner, that's great because I walk you through in each of these lessons how to become a DevOps engineer. If you are an intermediate or an advanced user, well, you can always skip to the second half of the course if you understand the HTML basics, if you already know a little bit of Java or any other programming language, that's wonderful. You can always get to know the rest of the course. So this course has a little bit of everything for every student. I welcome your positive reviews. Those are very important because I make these courses better and better through your feedback. So what are you waiting for? Click on the Take This Course button, enroll now, and I will see you in class.